Hey you guys, welcome back. As promised, I'm here with customer service pet peeves part two. We're gonna dive in and I'm gonna talk about some more that small businesses and even big businesses that may be watching this can understand and take into consideration so you don't piss off your customers. The goal is customer retention. The goal is customer satisfaction. So let's go. The first one we're gonna address are the persons that have um, Instagram and Facebook boutiques. Those are the online boutiques that don't necessarily have a website. They post about 40 pictures and they say, no arrivals. <laughs> and they post all. And then they go, DM for prices. So what if I want all 40, sis? <laughs> what if I want all 40 of your new arrivals, right? I'm gonna have to DM you for the price for each one. Honestly, that's more work for you. That's more work for me. It's annoying as hell. And to avoid that, Instagram and Facebook actually have options for you to put the prices on each one that you upload. Why aren't you guys using it? Why aren't business owners using the shop option and it's sent to your inbox? Make it easier for us. Facebook and Instagram realized that you guys are doing business online, so they literally made it easier for you and you wanna make it difficult for people. You know who I'm talking about. You've probably experienced this before. So over here, if you can see, this is Instagram and this is the shop option. And so simple. This is Facebook and this is their shop option. I think you should get acquainted with it. Don't just have a Facebook page and have an Instagram page just to throw pictures up and try to get sales. Understand all the aspects and features that are provided for you, for your small business, for your big business. And it's actually there to make your life easier and to make your customer's life easier. Don't be out here telling people to DM for prices. Nobody have time for that. And why is it somebody said, oh, Somebody's like, oh, they say DM for prices because they still want people one price and just give the next people another price. Oh, that's sad. That is messed up. How you gonna charge me 10K for something that you gonna give somebody you know for 6K? You are messy, you are messy, you are messy person. I don't know if there are people out there that like it, but I speak for the persons that don't like it. Um, it's really annoying. Remember in the first video I talked about urgency and quickness and getting stuff done quick and hassle free. Yeah, for price and hassle free. Next. Alright, so let's talk about the persons that have stores. Um, and you walk in, everything is disorganized. There's some untidiness and some disgusting stuff in your store. Your shelves aren't organized. There's some trash in a corner, bunch of dust on your shelves. Take pride in your business. I don't care if you're not an organized person in your personal life, for your business life, you should be taking full control and be completely organized. Don't allow that part of your life to seep into your business. Have your shelves well organized, well polished, well shined. Have everything shocked. Use Windex for your glass, your glass cases. Just make sure everything is in proper order. If there's a section for makeup, if there's a section for skincare. All these sections, the T section should never have bits and pieces of makeup in it or organize your business. Keep everything well tidy. If it's a rainy day, that happens often in Guyana, like here. Make sure that when customers are coming into your store, there is a mat or something on the floor for them to wipe off their shoes, wipe off their feet properly, a place to put their umbrellas. And if it's a case where maybe wet shoe marks are about your store, ensure that when the customers leave, somebody is cleaning that up. Ensure the trash that was supposed to be take out, taken out when you opened this morning is taken out before customers enter your store. Ensure that the place is smelling beautifully. There are too many small businesses selling candles. 
there are too many small businesses selling um, air fresheners. There is absolutely no excuse for you to have an untidy, unorganized, and stink smelling store. That's it, and that's on, period. Exactly. So take pride in your business, and just remember that customer retention is your goal, and a nice smelling, and visually nice, and appealing store to look at is always a plus for you. Next. Let's talk about customer service agents or even business owners that have a lack of passion. Now, I'm somebody that is very passionate. So if I'm coming to a new store with new products that maybe I've never tried before or whatnot, and your customer service agents are not passionate or you yourself are not actually passionate about the products that you're selling, and you're just coming off as dull to me, I'm not interested anymore at that point. I feel like, you're selling your new products, you just opened this store, you need to be hella passionate. You should make me wanna buy 10, 15, 20 of your items. It should never feel like a drag. It should never feel like you just opened your business just because. You should be so passionate, and I spoke about that in the previous video. When you give off that energy that you know, you kinda lack passion, or kinda disinterested in, in your business or products that you're selling it comes off and I spoke about energy and you know exactly what I'm talking about people can feel that and it's like I really wanted to try this product but the energy that I'm receiving I don't even want to try that I ain't want to try no it the way you sound in I might regret buying it and that's what you don't want people be hiring Salesmen and saleswomen that are untrained, don't know crap about sales or customer service, have them in their store and they're losing money because of it. Training. Tell them. Give customer service training a couple times a year, sales training a couple times a year will go a long way for your business. Should never be a drag to talk about that new lippy. Or never drag to talk about some home decor. You started the business, you selling this stuff. Love it, breathe it, smell it, dream about it, talk in your sleep about it because you're that passionate. And it shows, it's like, oh yes, perfect. I'm dead in my house, give me like two or three. It's customer retention, customer satisfaction. Next, when business owners or customer service agents treat the customer like a transaction. Now, some persons might be okay with it, and then there's persons that are really not okay with it. Like, don't just treat me as a sale. Treat me like a human, and I think persons don't quite understand that. They're small business owners that don't quite understand that. Just because they want the sale, they completely disregard you as a human and as an individual. I don't think that in business you should be selling the product. In reality, you need to be selling an entire experience to me. So when I come to your store, you treat me like your friend. Pretend you know me for 10 years. Don't try to sell me something as soon as I step foot. Don't throw your sales pitch as soon as I step foot in your store. Because then it's like, oh God, you're still trying to sell me something. Like, excuse me, sir. Treat me as though I'm human. Treat me as though you'd want to be treated. You're trying to sell me a fridge. You're trying to sell me a microwave. And you immediately go into that robotic automated sales pitch that you were taught. Don't do it. Come down to earth. You know, when you treat customers like a transaction, sometimes they feel a way and they will leave the store. They'll tell you, oh, okay, I'll be back tomorrow or I'm gonna come back later. and. You never get that sale. When a customer comes in and they feel completely at home and you start talking to them as though, you know, this is my friend of 15 years, you know, let me tell you, this is not the best brand. I mean, some people like this brand, it's not for them. You know which brand might be best for you? This one, let me tell you why. And they get all deep into it. And it's like, you know, I'm picking up on your personality. You might actually like this, 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 this. Don't make them feel like, you know, all they are is a dollar to you or a couple bucks to you. No. Make sure your customer feels human. 
make sure you acknowledge them as an individual and not a couple of dollar signs. It's starting to rain. <laughs> make sure you don't to earth with them. Come down from there. We understand that you a salesperson, but come down from there and get on my level. Let's talk. So the last pet peeve that I'm gonna discuss in this video is when customer service agents or business owners treat customers with indifference. Now, let me give you the definition for indifference. So indifference is the lack of interest, concern, or sympathy, or simply mediocrity. So there are many standpoints that I could actually take this from, but I'm feeling to talk about the persons that show a lack of interest when a certain type of person walks into their store. Let's say you're catering for high-end customers and somebody that whose appearance might look low-end or lower class or middle class steps into your store and you're completely indifferent. You have no interest because it's like, she can't afford it anyway. They judge you when you walk into the store based on how you look, based on you wearing joggers, a t-shirt, and some rubber dinky slippers. And they feel like, you can't afford nothing in this store. You're just looking around. You window shopping. Let me continue about the business. Don't you ever, don't you ever, ever treat a customer based on how they look. It should never be that way with how they dress. It should never be that way with their skin color. It should never be that way with their religion. It should never be that way, period. If it's a case where you need customer service training, you need sales training, spend some money, learn about it. It's your business. I mean, everybody wants to make money, but how the hell you gonna make money when your customer's not even coming? If it's nothing that you're gonna remember from this video, I want you to remember customer satisfaction customer retention you satisfy a potential customer and you retain that customer those are long-term customers that are gonna bring more customers and that's better for you as I said before more money in your pocket you can do it it's time for you to change the flipping nasty customer service culture in our country so don't just hire any and everybody they, don't, they might not share your views, they might not share your values and morals, and it'll definitely bring your business down. Stay focused. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below any experience that you may have. I love to read it. Share your story down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like if you like it, and share it with a small business owner or maybe a customer service person that you know is damn well in need of some advice. Stay tuned for the next video.